All right, let's see. Let's see if it's gonna work now. Let me know, you guys, if it's going or how it looks because, oh my gosh, I'm just having so much trouble with this Wi-Fi. Um, so yeah, I tried this earlier and so that I come back on now. I'm waiting to see if somebody pops in. If not, I'm just gonna have to wait and do this later. Nobody's popping in, so maybe the stream is still really bad. I'm gonna try again. Oh, are you there? Can you guys see okay? Oh my gosh. Hi everybody, how's it going? Um, if you're new here, hello, my name is Margaret. Welcome to my channel. It is not always this um, fraught with problems, but apparently the internet is, oh good, it's good, okay, good. So yeah, I wanted to come on and say hello this morning and share with you guys um, two things that I found this morning. And if you are looking for ways, many of you who are here probably already know all this, but if you're looking for ways to make some extra money, especially as a stay-at-home mom, which is what I am, um, one of the ways that I do that is by going out and looking at stuff at garage sales and estate sales that I can flip for a profit on Etsy and eBay. So this morning I went out, I actually only found two things this morning that I was able to um, pick up to flip, but I felt like it was worthy of coming on to share because I spent 25 cents. Nice to see you guys. Oh, good, good, I'm so glad. So yeah, so you go out, basically, you look at garage sales, estate sales, thrift stores for things that you can get for really cheap that you can turn over for a profit. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna share. Okay, so the first thing that I got, I spent 25 cents and I'm gonna be able to flip both of these um, for probably $50 or more combined. So that that's good. Uh, so the, one, the first thing I got was this ring and it was like in the bottom of a box. There were some like other cheapy earrings and stuff. So this is a sterling silver and green turquoise ring. And this is a Zuni style. Um, I believe this is Zuni style from, from what quick research I could do. Um, so this ring I should be able to sell for probably between 25, 30, dollars. I tend to price on the higher side cause I'm not in a big hurry to, to sell fast. So I can wait for a little bit higher prices. So this is the first item. And again, she, it was 25 cents and I was worried cause much of the other stuff in her garage sale was really expensive. So I took this to her and was like, how much is this? And she said, oh, just give me a quarter. Okay, hi, hi, thanks for coming live, everybody. Okay, then the second thing, and as I said, I got this for a quarter, so, and I only spent a quarter, so the next thing I got was free. Free is always good. Um, I'm a sucker for clothes and A, and it doesn't sell for as much as I think it should, personally, but I looked this up, and I see a couple of them up on eBay, similar to this, for about 25 bucks. So, there's this, it's a clamper bracelet, uh, Closinet, maybe the unicorn is what is the great selling point on this one, um, but I've got this nice Closinet with butterflies clamper bracelet that will probably sell around 20, 25 bucks. So with the combined um, ring and bracelet, oh yeah, yeah, that's good, <laughs> Lydia, the, yeah, anyway. My brain just kind of snapped for a second. Okay, so the combined of these, I spent 25 cents and I should be able to profit close to $50 after everything is said and done, once I get them listed. So if you are looking for ways, I mean, really easy ways to make a little bit of extra money, then finding things that you can pick up for cheap at garage sales is a great way to do that. So I wanted to share those with you this morning because I don't have a giant haul, but anyway, those are good ones. Um, if you're looking for things if you're like, okay, well, I don't know how to do this. Um, if you're looking for something, silver is a good way to, it's a horse with an ice cream, does he, oh, whatever. <laughs> um, <clears throat> um, so I was able to spot this pretty quickly with the silver because of the tarnish on it. If you, once you become familiar with silver, many, many of you probably already know this, but it'll start getting this kind of gray color. Um, and I didn't have any kind of testing or magnet with me. Um, frequently they'll, oh thanks, um, there'll be a mark on the inside. But if you don't have anything like that to go with, then just start rubbing it with your finger and the tarnish will start coming off and you'll be able to see the shine coming through. So um, that's another way to check it real fast to see like, oh, maybe it's tarnished silver. If I can rub it, I'm rubbing it right now for you. And then you can see how it shines up and you'll start getting that tarnish on your on your skin. Um, so yeah, so there we go. So 
If you are interested in learning more, I've got tons of videos about um, selling online, in particular jewelry, and I also have a jewelry group on Facebook um, called Texas Gals Jewelry Lovers, where we do lots of tutorials and things. It's going to start getting back on track. Everybody's super super helpful in there, though. Um, and also, you can follow me on Facebook at Texas Gal Treasures as well. So I'd enjoy to see you over there, guys. And yeah, let us know. I mean, that's the fun thing too about the Facebook group is that when you find cool stuff like this, you can go over there and share pictures and say, look at what I found, you guys. Um, so yeah, thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. Go over there and hit that thumbs up and let me know what you found for a quarter that you flipped for good money, quarter or less. How about that? <laughs> that you flip for some good money. And check out the comment sections, you guys, because you'll get some great ideas for things that you can that you can flip to make some extra money. Oh, your fiance found a silver ring. It's not Mark. Hmm, cool. All right, I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for coming to hang out, everybody. Bye.